We are speaking to the World Health Organization on the topic MRSA, a.k.a. methicillin resistant staphylosis aureus. That's Elizabeth, I'm Jacob, and that's Tanner. Okay, but mine is how to address how to address the factors. Our group thinks that the main problem should be addressed by sanitation, cleaning, medicine, and nutrition. What I mean by oh, sanitation, like our hospital, like you can pick up MRSA in the hospitals because they don't like clean their stuff. And all we're thinking about that is you need to like sanitize everything and get it clean. And cleaning is like cleaning the bedspreads and stuff. Medicine is where people, because MRSA is resistant to a lot of medicine, and we need to find a medicine that can cure it so we can stop hacking it. And education. A lot of people need to, a lot of people don't know about MRSA and what it is, so they need to educate people about it and Yay. Okay. Mine was current solutions and strengths. Um, current solutions are that they're trying to make medicines and trying to um, get rid of uh, MRSA and uh, that they want to um, make sure that no one else ha can get it. And next. Suggestions to prevent MRSA is to wash your hands frequently, sanitize door handles, and wash everything after use. If you, do not, if you don't want to get MRSA, you need to stay clean and keep your surroundings um, sanitized so germs won't get on it and that you can kill the germs that are on it so MRSA will not grow around it. As you have a person washing their hands frequently, which you need to do for about 15 to 20 seconds with hot water. And... So, where's oh, Tia? <laughs> if you come encounter with the germ, you need to go to your family doctor, and so they can clean it out and make sure that you're safe to like go home and just be on a type of medicine, um, and so you won't infect your family. <laughs> and that is a MRSA infection, which is deteriorating all the tissue that they are pulling out of the guy's nipple area. Chest. <laughs> He's He's little area. Area. The end. Okay, so MRSA is a serious infection that is spread through contact with the infection or with the virus itself. And it means if we can stop this infection by keeping hospital, equipment clean and sanitary. After you use it, after we use it, it can be stopped by spreading in hot water. This is why we need to make a cleaning sperm that kills this germ and find a medicine that will kill this non-killable bacteria. Yep. Oh, any questions? Yes. Wait. Here you go. Okay, so when the infected area, is there any other way besides pulling out the infection? It wasn't that they were pulling out the infection, it's that they were pulling out the dead tissue of the body, so since that part was infected, they were going ahead and getting it out of the way, so it couldn't have got worse. Um, the only way to really get rid of the infection is to dig into it and remove m most of the infected spots and put medicine right on the spot and then take antibiotics to get rid of it throughout your body. How, why does it go really deep inside the flesh? How does that happen? Um, it's like, it's like every infection, it goes into your bloodstream and it goes throughout the body and whenever it breaks up and reproduces itself, um, it just goes into multiple parts which can cause you to have really bad problems with your body or death. And do you believe the information you gave us about washing hands and germs is 
it. it it's a really effective way to avoid it because whenever you come in contact with a germ, it already starts slowly. If it goes up your arm or anything, it'll go to cuts or wounds into your body, which if you don't keep clean, it will infect that spot. Um, and if you don't clean the spot out with um, peroxide or anything else that gets rid of germs, um, it'll just slowly start deteriorating your tissue. Okay, thank you. Give it to Dakota. Wow, that's a lucky. My question is... Is the only place that you get an infection is it on your chest? No. no. You can get it anywhere. It can go anywhere on your body that anywhere. has an open wound or um, a severe cut. So, like, when the germ enters, it goes into your bloodstream. It'll infect that spot it entered on, and it'll go anywhere else around your body. Now, how, how do they pull it out? Do they just pull it out like that? You would, you would have to go to the hospital, and they would numb your leg or wherever the infection spot is, and um, they would take needles and knives and just kind of cut into your leg and remove the spot. Good job, Jacob. <laughs> Any more questions? Yeah, so um, I was dealing with a bunch of people coming in. Could you all refresh for me what was your all's overall solution to RSA? Our overall, you have the solution. Yes, you have the solution. Um, that uh, they were trying to get make meds and um, get like get rid of MRSA. We need to have we need to figure out a type of medicine that can kill it because a lot of medicines can't kill it. We need to find a medicine that can and kind of just like test on and see. The staph infection so, is so for me. As the WHO, as I'm thinking about giving you guys money, what do you guys, what do you all bring to the table that's not already being done? What, what, because I know, I know as a WHO person that they're they're trying to develop new antibiotics. So, what are you all doing that you need my money for? I'm like getting researchers to help find out. Finding finding research about the. Like about MRSA that we can use to kind of figure out like what what can kill it and what can't to put them all into an antibiotic to figure it out and kind of kill it on one source. Is that they can multiple? Stop messing around.